Modern Moments, um, bringing you all things Midwest and modern and architecture and interiors, cool shit without a hassle. And today we're going to talk about Afghans. Um, if you grew up in the Midwest, your mom or your aunt made Afghans. Um, and so today I'm with my dear friend Shannon Elkins and we are going to talk Afghans. We are currently in Holland, Michigan in 80... Five degree weather. It's like 92. <laughs> yeah. Draped in Afghans like polio FDR. <laughs> uh, all right. So tell me about yours because yours is way cooler than okay. mine. So I was five in 1980 and my mom came out with this blanket. It is, I think, a classic pattern because it is many blocks which are stitched together. I did in my limited research there are different styles and I forget what this one is called but it's got a name for when you do the blocks and put them all together yes. yeah that when I think of Afghan I think of that classic the blocks yes because techni technically Afghan is any knitted blanket I think so yeah there's no real qualification that makes it different I think it also kind of speaks to the 70s because this is also a time when like Holly Hobby and Raggedy Ann was really popular, so putting things together were like, you know, anything that looked patchwork was kind of cool and hip. I don't know if like, yeah, no, um, totally. Little having rags theory. can be cool, but like Holly Hobby and, and all of that, and this was, I think, kind of part of that. Like you use up your yarn mm -hmm. and oh. you make different color yeah. blocks and but then you put the blocks actually, together. That one's pretty sweet for the yeah. 70s, if you can see. It's like light colors, pinks. Because when I think of the one my mom made in the 70s was shit brown, cream, and like burnt orange. Thank like, you, mom. Totally. Thanks, mom. <laughs> yeah, and you can see yours has like all this cool wear to it. That's, that's a very well, nice one. And I remember too, like people used to put them over the back of their sofas yes. or their couches. Okay. And we had one that was brown, gold, and like blaze orange. Yeah. It was Really kind of ugly. That wasn't one of Mom's better ones, but this one, this one's beautiful. Did you have ones that you weren't supposed to touch? No. no. But there were definitely display pieces on the back of the couch. Yeah, I feel they were like the doily of the couch. Yes. Like the couch could be garbage, but if you put like a nice <laughs> afghan on it, it somehow made it fancy. Yeah. No. Totally. Um, so, did your grandma make afghans too, or just your mom? Just my mom. I really think, I don't know if it was a thing of the 70s. I feel like quilting came before. See, and mine was, so my mom quilted, but my grandma afghaned like a mofo. And huh. so, all of the afghans I got, my mom made like one or two, and I think she just didn't like it. But she was quilting, but my grandma would make the afghans, so I don't know. I, again, there's like limited history that I could find yeah. as to when it became. The only thing I found was that in 1831, the first term of Afghans used in the English language was used in somebody, some novel about German something, and I'm just like, how did that translate to yeah. the Midwest and blankets? Well, it was also like Afghan woven rugs, right? So it started with like woven rugs, and then somehow it became Americans making blankets. I'm not sure. Yeah. I, I know that the Soviets were um, in Afghanistan, in, invading Afghanistan in the 70s, so it could have something to do with like when Afghanistan became... Were they immigrating over here? Mm, no, yeah. but it was just like, it was, you know, it was the Cold War, so we had 
the Soviets and whoever was with them, and then the United States and whoever was with us. And the Soviets were in Afghanistan, so. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think any of our Midwestern mothers probably could find Afghanistan on a map, but no. it was no. a different world then, different yeah. world. And I always thought too, because I always hated, if you sat down on the couch, I was like, Afghans are kind of the worst. Like, they're not super soft and cozy. No, they have a bunch of holes They have a bunch them. of holes in them, so they're drafty if you're, like, cold. I don't know. It's, it's But at the same time, I've never seen them in, like, antique stores. Is it because they have no resale value, or is it because people just hold on to them, like I have? <laughs> for dear life. For, you know, almost 40 years. Yeah, I don't know. I don't maybe know. it's the resale value thing. Or maybe they get so warm that, I don't know. That is bizarre. So I bought this one from a vintage shop. I didn't have any like cool homemade ones to get. And it's old, but somebody took way good care of it. Because this one looks... When yours has a really nice finished edge, too. Mine has kind of like a scalloped edge, which was like a big deal, too. So my mom put a lot of TLC in this one. Oh, that's awesome. So did she make it for you? Oh, you were five. Yeah, I think it was meant to be when I was born, but it, it was finished when I was five. <laughs> It was on my bed forever. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm just trying to think. So, what would be like the modern equivalent of an Afghan? Like, we just have throws, like that you can get at Walmart. Well, I think like, now like, people knit like all one color, like beige or yeah. gray or white. No, that's true. There is a big like if you, you know, there's a ton of like knitting hashtags and stuff like this. Whole oh, millennials are knitters, man. They're making stuff. Cool. And so their designs tend to be a little bit more cool, but they don't they don't have this that holy pattern yeah. either. It's like a solid knit, like a sweater blanket or whatever. Right. Hmm. Interesting. But, yeah. Well, thanks so much for talking to me today about Afghans. And You're welcome. I don't think we have any other cool. I don't have any good anecdotes. No. All but I can think of is some of the ugly colors that my mom made. I will say, this will be one thing that I'll probably hold on to till I die. Yeah. So, if someone makes something for you with love, you should hold on to it. Yeah, true story. Yeah. Which is classic Midwestern value. Totally. Yeah, cheers. Anyway, cheers.